Hey guys, I know, I know a lot of people aren't wrestling fans, but I am. I've been a wrestling fan my whole life, since I was two years old. I wanted to make today's video and talk to you guys about why, in my opinion, Stone Cold Steve Austin is the epitome of professional wrestling. Um, he personified what the Attitude Era was. Him and Vince's feud personified professional wrestling. Without Stone Cold Steve Austin, I do not believe the WWF at the time would have won the Monday Night Wars against WCW. That's just a fact. Um, yes, they had DX. Yes, they had The Rock. Yes, they had The Undertaker. Yes, they had all these big stars. But Stone Cold was the main piece of that. And one of my favorite all-time matches of Stone Cold Steve Austin's is his match with Bret Hart. That really turned the switch on the Austin era. Um, that match to me is just per it's a perfect example of what the Stone Cold Steve Austin character was, you know. But one of my main issues that I'm having is I was recently talking with one of my wrestling buddies and we got into an argument about who is one of the greatest professional wrestlers of all time. You know, in my opinion, The Undertaker is my favorite professional wrestler of all time, and Undertaker, to me, will be one of the greatest characters of all time. But Stone Cold Steve Austin is, to me, the centerpiece of professional wrestling's Mount Rushmore. Um, not Hulk Hogan. You know, everyone's saying, oh, without Hulk Hogan, professional wrestling wouldn't have reached the mainstream audience that it would have. That's a lie, because there is several guys in the WWF at that time that could have easily filled the role of Hogan. One of which was more popular than Hogan and a lot more talented than Hulk Hogan. And that's, that was Macho Man Randy Savage. You know, it's just that simple. You had guys like Macho Man, Mr. Perfect, Bret Hart, uh, Ricky the Dragon Steamboat, you had so many other guys that easily could have filled that role. And for you, people to sit there and say, oh, but Hogan sold the most merchandise, and Hogan sold out this building and that building, and he sold out Madison Square Garden X amount of times. It doesn't matter. Hulk Hogan did not sell more merchandise than Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stone Cold Steve Austin sold the most merchandise and sold out the most arenas for his time. That was up until John Cena. Without Stone Cold Steve Austin, professional wrestling would have not reached the height that it is now. And I'm not just talking about WWE, I'm talking about professional wrestling. Because whether wrestling fans wants to, want to admit it or not, whether Hulk Hogan fans, who I don't know why anybody would be a Hulk Hogan fan after the very racial and disturbing things that he has said, want to sit there and talk about Hulk Hogan is because you cannot let go of the past and people need to start looking at the research. Stone Cold Steve Austin is what made wrestling what wrestling is today. I will admit, Hulk Hogan built the foundation for that, but he was not needed. Again, Macho Man Randy Savage, Bret Hart, Mr. Perfect, Rick Rude, I can go on and on and on. Stone Cold Steve Austin put on better matches, could cut a better promo, had a better look, and was sure a bigger draw than Hulk Hogan ever was and would ever be. People are going to have to deal with that. That's just my saying. That's just my opinion. If you got an issue with it, you can dislike this video. You can cuss me out in the comments. It doesn't matter. So, sorry to Hulk Hogan fans, but it is what it is, and that's the bottom line. 